Hey everybody, what's up? It's Steve with Motor City Rocks here at the Motor City Brewing Company crew castle. And I'm here with Dash JR. E, not E of the band The Eels, but E of the Jesus Chainsaw Massacre. And Brian Maximum Fun Metro. Brian Metro Woodman today. Brian Metro Woodman. <laughs> <laughs> he's excited like all Woodmans are. He's, he's like three fraggles put together. <laughs> so, um, that's not the best way to get a beard. The best way to get a beard is to pay a straight woman to pretend like she's your girlfriend. So, um, tell me about this March 20th show, Dash JR. Well, it's a benefit yeah. for Motor City Rocks, which is uh, is hosting this fine interview. And it's to buy them new uh, equipment, lighting, cameras, lava lamps, photographs, Jaeger bombs, people. We're actually trying to buy uh, some children to stitch t-shirts for us so that we can sell them on eBay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's, what's the drug of choice for Metro today? Metro. I took a shitload of Xanax. Xanax? I'm just chilling. What's that? What's your drug of choice for today? <laughs> Trident? <laughs> Trident. Don't take too much Trident because you're going to end up like this guy. <laughs> Xanax. Xanax it is. There's no way we can feel anymore. I always, whenever I see the word Xanax, I think of like a straight edge Anna screen name for like Abe or something. X Anna X. <laughs> Maybe that's just me hanging out on AIM too much. That's our sister site. Um, have you guys ever thought about uh, like doing a lot of like uh, music videos based around your chat roulette? Uh, <laughs> like screen caps? <laughs> I don't know. Have we? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. What about you, Kevin? Are you going to edit one of those together for us? <laughs> I'm not... Even though I'm wearing sunglasses, I'm not officially in the band. Yet. You could, you could be. I could be. But I can't play tambourine. So, tell me about your tambourine experiences from the blowout. What's going on here? Who's this guy? Who's this loser? Alright. So anyway, back to the He's real interview. The Anyways, back to what? <laughs> Tell me, um, when you guys were playing tambourine, um, how do you guys rehearse for that? Well, we spend about four or five hours a day after work. You know, we get home and we just sit in a circle around a campfire yeah. and just beat out. So it's like beat. a drum circle? Yeah, but with two people. So kind of a line, linear. And we keep it all vertical and horizontal at the so, same time. So Metro, the Romeo Flynn's, your favorite band or your third favorite band? They're good enough there. They have, um, they have a, a full page uh, pullout in the, the Metro Times blowout thing, but they never play any shows. <laughs> It makes so sense. I, I, I really, um, I admire their their financial backing, but they did play in London. Why don't you ever interview these guys? <laughs> this, is, this is like our fifth interview. Because they suck. <laughs> you guys suck in a good way, though. So we suck gracefully. <laughs> yeah. You, um. So so. Uh, we tried to get into your blowout show, and we stupidly thought we could get there walking from Knights of Columbus and <laughs> make it there on time. And uh, you made it. Well, we made it for like the last five minutes. So tell me about you guys' blowout show. What did the people who weren't there miss? Well, we took a, a dumpster full of Metro Times and littered the floor of the whiskey in the jar with them. And then Metro comes out as the Bear Jew blogger. 
with his baseball bat and gas tank and tried to set it ablaze until the sound man interfered. He totally, he blew it. Triple H to sound man. He, he stopped you guys from setting the place on fire. Well, no, I mean, Nepal would have been controlled. Controlled burns. Yeah, I'm good. I'm pyrotechnic. That's why she's um, in the mid. Are you guys planning on setting anything on fire for the March 20th show? I have fireworks. Oh. Yeah? yeah? You have I Roman candles. I say bring them. <laughs> Continue. Um, <laughs> how can it? How can it? Damn the naked men. Full speed ahead. So, I've heard, E, that you're actually uh, Metro's nurse who has to be on hand at all times. I do. I'm kind of like, you know, like a lawyer, like legal advisor. What, what are some of his ailments that he has? Well, I can't really talk about it. There's like a patient confidentiality. confidentiality. <laughs> right. But she does have a... A little bag filled with pills and weed. oxygen. Yeah, weed and oxygen. <laughs> You're going to be passing those out during the 320 show, right? For sure. For people there. running the show? Okay. Just one month early. Yeah, we'll see each other. Okay, excellent. Yeah. I don't know what fucking day it is. I honestly, when I woke up this morning... <laughs> <laughs> Those people outside are like, what is happening right now? I'm so confused. When I woke up this morning, I thought it was like, I thought it was like Friday night. <laughs> Somebody open the door and shout, welcome to Detroit. <laughs> so, go ahead. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Jesus Chainsaw Man here. Thanks for coming out for the interview. Oh, that's it? <laughs> well, what do you want to say? Let's keep it going. What do you want to keep talking about? I don't know. Uh, let's, what about this Tron Legacy movie? I have a big raging nerd boner Dude, for it. How about you? It's going to be awesome. Did you see the preview? Before Fuck Alice yeah. Alice Wonderland? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, you gotta be filming that, Lance. You gotta be filming that. Okay, here they come. Oh, here's our own trend legacy right here. <laughs> So, uh, I don't think we can top that. Yeah. <laughs> Rogue Satellites, you're up next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Jesus Chainsaw, for coming up. Everybody, everybody who's anybody will see you on March 20th. Oh, well, this just went viral. <laughs>